In this video, I am going to cover one of the DevOps challenge uh, I have been facing while uh, working with Sonacube. In interviews, they ask, can you please uh, tell me a few challenges you faced while working with uh, DevOps tools? Right. Let me walk you through the code uh, I am currently working on. I am uh, trying to integrate Jenkins and uh, Sonacube. I want to publish my Java code to Sonacube and uh, perform Sonacube scanning. While doing this, I am facing following issue. In stage 1, I am checking out the code. In stage 2, I am publishing that code to Sonacube server. If you notice this one, this is a plugin I installed in my Jenkins that is Sonacube scanner plugin and using that plugin I have configured Sonacube server details I'll show you go to manage Jenkins and uh, configure system check for Sonacube servers here I added Sonacube server I gave name I gave a Sonacube server URL and uh, accordingly I have configured authentication token right and that I am using in my code so what it does is it gets Sonacube server details using this uh, ID and it will publish the code to Sonacube server after publishing the code I want to check the status of uh, Sonacube analysis and there is a direct step for that wait for quality gate this also comes along with the Sonacube scanner plugin and I'm calling this I am saying abort pipeline if Sonacube scanning is throwing an error if you say this uh, Sonacube status is failed if this is failed I want to fail my build that's the overall logic I'm building while doing this I encountered exception I'll show you the exception is this one uh, it is checking for the status and uh, it says invalid JSON string and if you scroll down right and uh, you can see a bit more details about uh, this uh, exception uh, it is saying Java dot lang dot uh, illegal state exception unable to pass response from this uh, request okay behind the scenes it's making api call and uh, based on its response it is figuring out what is the status of uh, current sonacube analysis let's click on this link and see that it's giving exception the exception is the page you were looking for does not exist this is the actual exception but in jenkins we're getting uh, something else it is giving some parser exception uh, right and but basically this is a problem and i want to fix this problem this problem may be simple but uh, it may seem simple sometimes right it can take lots of time to understand and find out why this is failing so after spending some time uh, i found the problem is it's using double forward slash in the url okay and if i remove one forward slash and hit it's perfectly working it's giving back the json response it is a rest api call it is giving back json response this is a problem see fixing is easy but identifying the problem is obviously sometimes uh, difficult and uh, challenging so that's a problem i uh, found that is a problem and what i did for this one is uh, in manage jenkins configure system under sonacube uh, servers right here i removed this slash this forward slash i removed so that when it constructs this complete url in place of a double slash it's going to use a single slash let's remove that slash let's save it and uh, let's build it it's build number 14 
let's uh, monitor its uh, console output right right so this time it is success fine it did not fail why because it's making api call in the background to check the status of that uh, uh, task based on task id that double slash is gone because we fixed it uh, in jenkins uh, sonar keep server configuration so that's all about this video guys uh, keep watching i'll be adding more and more uh, such uh, videos in future thank you